Like he he actually had got a phone call where his guys tried to outrun a train and got hit by it. Wait, yeah, I just did, not, repeat that. Okay, just repeat that again. Start Imagine over this: again. all all, like, the, like, all the vets like, out there, I'm painting you a picture right now. <laughs> Maybe we should do that. That'd be f- just a funny thing if he had a laser. Anytime we get too far from the mic, he just lasers us in the eyes. <laughs> ah, so, sorry, Dave. Damn it. <laughs> Are you, you rolling? Could put, you could yeah. put a noise awesome. that y'all that happens, but don't. It's the arbitrary. Siren. No, I'm we want this. a siren. Yeah. So we want a rule that if you break, but you don't know the rule, but we all start screaming the siren. My point. Off. My yeah. point. Exactly. Yeah. None of the audience knows. Oh yeah. But when it goes off, the, everyone does something, or you know, it's kind of their cue. That's that's perfect. Yeah, that's a great idea. <laughs> it's like that. like a red rotating light. <laughs> oh, like, it's yeah, yeah, yeah. it's, it's like loud, loud as shit. <laughs> we we have like industrial train horn in here. <laughs> Everybody's like screaming. Yeah. I was up hanging out with Crenshaw the other day and up in DC, and there's a buzzer that goes off. Oh god, all, all the time. Yeah, like the one that would, that would go off when we get out of class in high school. Oh okay, yeah. And I go, hey man, what's uh, what's that buzzer for? And he goes, nobody knows. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh gosh! Even if I knew, I think yeah. that would be my answer. Yeah, okay. he said it so perfectly yeah. too. I was like, Fuck. Yeah, so, <laughs> nobody I'm knows, good. man. Nobody knows. Okay. Oh yeah. You know when a guy shifts to that, <laughs> that deep thought voice? Nobody knows. Well, um, I would just like to say, or I would like to ask first. What was it like walking into here, seeing an entire gym with your face all over it? How about that? Yeah. Like we have a whole gym dedicated to you. I here. think the best yeah. part about it, it's motivating to keep me to work out because it reminds you where you come from, what you can be, and how far you've deteriorated if you, if you stop working out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've got you from all ages. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Very, yeah. Very, very significant life yeah. events, too. Very like, yeah. That time you saved the world from like yeah. evil Transformers yeah. to mm-hmm. it's all out there. the Boston Marathon yeah. to, yeah. you know, when you and Will Ferrell were cops. How about that? You've yeah. lived a life. I have. I have. It's been, a, it's been one heck of a ride. <laughs> well, welcome We're to still pie. Going too. Thank time you. for pie. Yeah, yeah. yeah time for pie. Like, are, do you have time for pie today? Always, always <laughs> make time for pie. Yeah, you got to. You got to. Oh, uh, ladies and gentlemen, our first guest, Mr. Marcus Luttrell, Mr. Mark Wahlberg. It's both. Yeah, both. yeah. That's you can be both. It's interchangeable. Yeah, it's yeah. interchangeable. Yeah. Like, because you could go to things for him, and he could go to things Wahlberg for you. Is my middle name. <laughs> Have you guys ever done that? Have you ever sent him to something for you? Because that would be funny. That would be funny. So he and I have these things. We're trying to see who can become the the best human being on the planet. Okay. And we have all these deals. Like, So if you ever get in a situation where you can video yourself doing something, like helping someone across the street. Sure. But it has to present itself. You can't set it up, right? So we have all these little moments, and then we have these $2 bets. You know, whoever wins it has to donate to their charity. Yeah. And, um, but Sure. We've had a blast. Dude, me and him could easily start an uh, orphanage fire for you there to you put go. out. Yeah, like, we, we could. could maybe we could start cats that. Or like yeah, that. I think you could know, put it out. On yeah. to put me ahead in the situation. It, yeah, yeah. I, you know, I feel like with Mark, everything presents itself to him. Yeah, yeah. That's just Compl- kind of. But a, like, yeah. yeah, if Caleb and I like like went ahead of you and just started setting orphanages yeah. on fire until yeah. you noticed in your path. <laughs> like, yeah, and like, we're not we're we're gonna like let you five. know. I don't like, know why it keeps yeah. happening. All this stuff. Man. Yeah, like just we're saying it as a joke, but if a time does come where you're out and about and there's a local orphanage on fire, like you might think that it was us, but you'd never know for sure. But there it is. It's just for you to yeah. put out. By the way, you got to go in, right? Yeah. I mean, but what? I mean, I'm just worried about. What about the like first three that you just missed because you were you know you were busy you, yeah yeah you were talking to somebody and we're like damn so it. we're like oh man that orphanage Shit. just burned down all those damn kids. there was a hundred orphans in there <laughs> damn it damn it Marcus <laughs> look up look up Marcus well, yeah. look up look up Marcus <laughs> like, like I don't have that problem all yeah right. okay <laughs> no but if you if you I think you should set something up where you're booked to be there but you send Mark. <laughs> so our paths are crossing like that anyways because he'll send me videos he'll be in the Walmarts or, or Walmart like whatever store it is yeah and, uh, it's like we've had a lot of fun with it for sure, <laughs> for sure. yeah he's a great guy man I, I'd have never thought that it would have would have panned out like that like yeah you know what I mean yeah I mean is there anybody else that you would have cho- if, even if you got to choose so that was Oh, if, even if I got to choose? Yeah. Well, man, I, see, that's the thing. Yeah, did you have people in mind that you were like, I hope this guy... Okay, so think about this. Yeah. 
when it came time to actually select somebody to play me, everyone's yeah. got this idea who you think you would have played. Sure. You just do. Yeah. Uh, Jonah Hill is mine. Is it? Okay. <laughs> yeah. So I, I broke mine down even further than that, man. I was like, hey, man, you got to be able to walk like Denzel and John Travolta, a mix of that. You know what I'm talking yeah, about? Yeah, okay. But you got to be able to run like Tom Cruise. I feel like it's to get that done. And then you got to be able to fight like Bruce Lee with Chuck Norris mixed in there because – this Why person not? doesn't exist. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. So when it came time to select the guy to play me, that was the only person I, I, I didn't have a say in. Yeah. And I told every, even Pete was like, hey, man, little everybody in your crew. He, he was real adamant and um, real focused on attention to detail when he walked around to every, my family and everybody. I'm like, hey, what does he act like? How does he, what kind of, who, if you could, oh, if you could have somebody play him, who would it have been? And then Mark, yeah, it was him, which is great. I, did he ever attempt the Texas accent? Yeah, one time. It's in the film. And, and then they said, yeah, no. No, I put it in the film. Oh. I think because I said not to do it, they did it. <laughs> mm. You know how much? So I, yeah. I, I'm real adamant about, about you country boys. You better get a city friend, right? And if you're from the city, you get a country friend. Yeah. And, and then the one, so the dialects would be different. But when, when we started filming, I was like, hey, man, you can do anything you want. You know, you're kind of the city version of me. Just don't try and do that Texas accent. But then that first time he's about to lay down fire, he threw it out, and, and uh, <laughs> I was like, yeah, all right. <laughs> well, I mean, we're we're excited today because we're going to be messing with him through through the phone all day with the gym, yeah. you know, because <laughs> he hasn't seen it yet. No, I hadn't. Yeah. So today's the big reveal. Um, Mark sees his yeah. gym. How about that? I mean, he's going to want to change the name of F45 to Mark Hard. Once he sees the branding I've done with Mark Hard. He's going to say, oh, that's genius. Oh, man. I want oh, everybody to be Mark Hard. I wish so that you don't even me. know what you don't know, you don't know. Yeah. That's why your friends are great at marketing that stuff for you. Yeah, yeah. dude. Like, we come online with some stuff for you, can't think. The first time he sees a, a, a woman walking around with a Mark Hard shirt, mm-hmm. like he's going to be mm-hmm. like, like, what? Oh, well, I need that. I wish that were my gym. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you, we keep it private. Yeah. Like the guys who come in, it's a secret location. No one knows where it's at. Yeah. But you know it exists. Mm-hmm. Well, this is where I want to film our commercial for the gym today. Yeah. yeah. Well, we'll get your kind of exits and entrances of, of you just announcing because I want to run this ad in San Antonio, but there's no address. So it's a, it's a commercial for the, for the gym, but there's, there's no ad. We won't give you the address. It's all, it's like fight club. Yeah. Right. You, yeah. You, you just got to find out. It, yeah. You gotta find out about yeah. it and then you'll find your way down. Yeah. If you're worthy, you'll find it. Thank you. Yeah. yeah you find it. But way I down. mean, just to get people to talk about like, yeah. dude, did you see that? Yeah. But I don't know where it is. Like, where's that? Where's that Mark hard gym? <laughs> <keep it> hidden. <laughs> yeah. That's by design. Yeah. I hope he's excited. I hope he renames every F45 tomorrow. Yeah. I've been interesting to see how it plays out. Sure. They call it emergency <laughs> F45 board meeting. Yeah, his 3 a.m. meetings that he re-branding does. Rebranding <laughs> immediately yeah. to Mark Hard. That's it. That's Shift me. I am Mark Hard. <laughs> focus over. So we had, a, we had quite a few good ideas last night. Oh, yeah. I mean, just a, a lot to talk about in general. Yeah. Uh, where do we even want to begin there? Do we want to hear his story? Of his journey how, story, yeah. Of how oh, oh jo- you are the real John, John Wick. Wick, yeah. Of how John Wick is, is about based you. on you. That's right. Yeah, most people. Not a lot of people don't know that. So I didn't. You have two major yeah. movies about yeah. your life. Yeah, a few incidents in, for sure. And they are I mean, the parallels. They are exactly sprinkled in the Russian mob thing. Yeah, it's Hollywood. It's Hollywood. Sure, right? Yeah, you got to juice it up. Yeah. Right? So it's uh, they parallel exactly. Uh-huh. I thought that was pretty cool. That is cool. Right. Uh, but so if you if you if you really look back at my my life and how I ran, think um, if for those in our generation seen Joe Dirt, mm-hmm. it's like that. So okay, it starts yeah. out in yeah. the beginning and then interesting all the way through through the end, just showing up. In certain situations present themselves. Yeah, I heard one of our boys say this the other day. He's like, "Man, how the hell did you get into this?" <laughs> and I had a day off. I wasn't doing nothing. <laughs> <laughs> those are the greatest. Yeah, and those guys who get into it because yeah. of that moment. They're like, "Man, I didn't have anything going on." They called and I showed up. <laughs> So a lot of that. Yeah. And then everything takes a giant yeah. right turn. Yeah. Because, you know, I, I mean, I'm kind of like gasoline, man. You throw me in there and whatever the guy's doing, we're gonna, I'm going to be like, yeah, that's a great idea. Let's mm-hmm. do it. I mean, so I, I didn't – I don't guess you can really understand what you kind of your gift is and somebody tell, tells you it's what they, it is. But, I mean, I've always had a uh, – someone told me this the other day, like, man, I just got a great sense of humor and a, and a great attitude. I think that carries you a long way. Oh, yeah, absolutely. In that's, any situation, yeah. if you if you got yeah. the great attitude – I mean, it's easy to complain, and when you complain, you bring everything down. If you're in the moment, then you're, just, you're suffering in it. 
But if you actually have a great attitude in the moment, you know, how we do this. We got taught this the hard way. <laughs> it's like, man, it may lie to any moment to get yeah. through it. And then it's a great story. Yeah. It's like, man, that, that, that moment wasn't doing that to us. We were doing that to the moment. Well, yeah. the attitude's contagious, too. Yeah. Because, I mean, there's you and I have spent a lot of time together, like, over weird adventures and things like that. And how many times I've been having a shit day until I hear someone ask you, hey, how are you? You go, blessed and unstoppable. And I immediately am like, well, I guess I need, I need, to, yeah. I need to get over there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and then I feel better. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Dr. Billy Allsbrook taught me that. He's like, man, and I heard him say that. And then I was in the airport one time and uh, going through it. And one of the sisters was putting me on my plane. And I was like, how are you today? And she's like, I'm blessed and highly favored. And I was like, and she said it was some, some, some reverence and confidence, you know, like you, she was. Yeah. You can tell when somebody is. Yeah. So when he, he said that, man, I, I, I took it from him and, and I use it ever since because. Heck yeah. Yeah, I mean, it'll change, change your life <laughs> for sure. It's all about that attitude. Yeah, you know, yeah. Man, for sure. So, yeah, how, how is it that you became the real John Wick? Man, that was my, okay. So, the, the, which part? Well, I mean, like you said yesterday, <laughs> you never really, you never yeah, really like, uncover. Like, yeah. everybody knows, like, pieces of this story, yeah, but yeah. no one knows, knows the, the real, real thing. Real yeah, thing. It's yeah just tell us what happened. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot to it, man. Yeah. So, if you can back it up in childhood, how I, I, I even wound up in that position, or you were talking about from the... Where y'all kind of started hearing about, oh, my dog got killed. Yeah. Yeah. That, the, yeah. The, the, yeah that's, that's, that's the John Wick. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that one. Yeah. Man, it was, uh, I, I just gotten out of a back surgery. I was laying at the house in the ranch out in the middle of nowhere kind of deal. And then I heard some gunshots. And it had to be about three o'clock in the morning, maybe a little bit earlier. And that ain't normal where you are. <laughs> no, huh? And I mean, I lived out in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. So, uh, my mother had a log cabin down the, a little bit further down from my house. So I, I, I jumped up out of the – this is back when I first got out of the military and I was having the surgery, so I was sleeping in the recliner. I think we all go through the chair phase. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. I did that. I was in the chair phase. Yeah. And I, I, um, I jumped out of bed, and I remember I swept through my – I didn't have any nods, but I swept through the house in my mother's house. And then I kicked her door open, and she was laying in bed, and she sat up real fast. I was like, don't leave till I come get you. And then I, I went out the house, and I could see in the distance from her front door to the front gate it was a few hundred yards, so I could see a, a light out there. But then if you went to the left and went a couple hundred yards, there was a tree line and a fence line, and I, went, I hit that. And I, I, went, I mean, I started moving. Yeah, I started moving and, and cutting all of my corners and pie and all that like that, just checking for what was going on. And I, I crawled underneath the fence, and when I looked, it was, I mean, real dark, but there happened to be a street light. It wasn't near our gate, but it was a little further down. And then... I could see a car in the distance, and then I look up. My dog's laying in the, uh, in the ditch. I lit her out to go to the restroom. So when I heard the gunshots, I immediately went out and mm-hmm. kind of checked on it. And then the door shut, and they lit out. And I ran up to check on her. I kicked her in the butt. She's laying in the ditch, and she was she didn't move. She was dead. So then I ran back to the to the house. And I jumped in my truck. I started chasing them down. I caught them a bond few miles down the road that was yeah because you had a long run yeah so you you got yeah. in your truck yeah, and got you, out took a right i don't run fast yeah. so there's that too yeah. so you I, just had back surgery yeah, <laughs> yeah. and um i jumped in my truck man i caught them a few miles down the road put them you know we kind of caught upside them and then the old you country could tell, you could tell that it was i know exactly who it was oh yeah really? damn yeah. right yeah I, yeah I tried to shoot them when they were getting in the car <laughs> <laughs> i didn't want to shoot two of them let the driver get away i yeah. mean that was the mentality i had yeah, yeah. I, mean, I was gonna kill them something dude i didn't yeah everything's everything you start messing with our pets boy's dog it's oh like a, yeah it's like dude. well i mean nah, this man. is just yeah because when you when it's all said and done they were just doing this they yeah were going out and doing this right like, as just being asked yeah so, so, yeah, you catch up to them. I caught up with them, yeah. And then we hit the hardball, and they were in a, in a, a car, so they took off and got ahead of me. And I chased them through the county and over into the next county and over into a, almost to another one. And uh, that's when I dialed 911. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so in my defense, like normally I wouldn't call 911 out of, out of handle to myself. You know? <laughs> There is a thing called criminal justice. Yeah. There's, there's, there's three of them, right? Yeah. There's three. Uh, there's four. No, there's four. Right. Okay. But uh, I mean, I was armed up. Yeah. 
you know, with a bad attitude and two pistols. Yeah. So, yeah, <laughs> a fucking dead dog now, dude. I, I had Just a like, bad attitude and two pistols. Yeah, pistols, back man. pain, dead dog, guns. Yeah. Like, <laughs> you're going to three in the morning. Yeah. You woke mom up. Yeah. yeah like, you're going to kill. about pain going away. Yeah, dude. I didn't have any pain when I yeah. went down and saw that. I was like, man, you. Mm. So then, um, I called 911. And it's almost as if when. When we were in a mission, you know, something goes and they're getting away from me. I always call for comms, right? I'm yeah. Like, hey, let me get. It's, it's like a sure, just ha- yeah. A military guy. I didn't know that. Yeah. But uh, there's a few numbers in our head. If you need some help, then you, you Roger them up. And I called in. I didn't think anything about it. And then I kept on them. And then we caught them. And what are you telling them on nine one one? Are you just like, hey, these guys just yeah, shot, shot my dog. Shot my I'm dog. chasing I'm them. Following them through the yeah. And this is and they're like. Out. Don't do that. <laughs> um, Marcus, please don't. <laughs> yeah, hey, hey. Can you not do that? You're like, I got Marcus. two pistols and a bad attitude. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> They're like, what, Marcus? What is this one-liner? Oh, it's 3 a.m. It's 3 a.m. and Marcus has given us one-liners. Somebody get yeah, out there. Yeah. <laughs> we need three deputies. <laughs> if it happens next time, be like, you ready? I got some good one-liners. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you can't believe what these things are Yeah. Damn, <laughs> damn it. That was cool. Damn it. He's, well, so, fucking cool. <laughs> he's so cool. He's so cool. We caught him. They had us the roadblock set up. Yeah. Oh, Holy shit. Yeah. Yeah. They hooked it up. I was going to, man, you know, I was yeah, going yeah. to do some damage. And then uh, I kind of roll through it. I, I catch up with them. I get out of the truck and I'm rolling up. But this, where I grew up, everyone knows everybody. I mean, I yeah, grew up yeah. in a magnificent town. You live in sure. one here, yeah. but I have the same thing. I went back to it. Yeah. Magnolia is awesome. Man. Yeah. And I, and <laughs> my people watch out for me. Yeah. You know, even if I get a little bit off the chain, they're going to be like, hey, you know. So. <laughs> They, Classic Mark. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's what they say. Well, he talked to me yeah, like that, yeah, too. Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't like, sir, could you put your hands up? And was like, Marcus, get the... Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Don't then, you dare. Yeah. Don't you dare get out of that truck, Marcus. Yeah. And then um, I, I, they made me leave. Uh, oh, really? Yeah, so, like, yeah. you didn't even get a word in, huh? Oh, uh, Well, yeah, on the way out. Yeah. A little no, a little bit. Well, did, they didn't they, know who I was. Yeah. They, they had no idea who At I what was. point did they realize what just happened? I... I imagine that right after I left. Is and the it, cops were I would imagine. I, I don't have any, but, you know, that night, the minute it happened, that, that word went out. Uh, yeah, that was a big deal, man. Yeah. Oh, like the governor got involved. Yeah, damn right he did. I called everybody I knew. Because <laughs> <laughs> would, they, would they end up with? Uh, two got two years? Yeah, they changed the law. You can't kill a service canine <laughs> anymore. Yeah. Uh, you know, people, the law's kind of light on, on that kind of deal, but... And they killed like a bunch of animals, right? Yeah, like they yeah, were just shooting all kinds shit. of stuff. Yeah. yeah, yeah, busting up the town for a while. Yeah, but they got yeah. it. Huh? Yeah, yeah. They just yeah. had me roll through when I had gotten back. Yeah, and that's how it worked out. That's Damn. how that story unfolded. And then, the, and then, the writer of John Wick. Yeah, you know, that's it. He was yeah. like, man, there's more to it. Obviously, yeah, 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 yeah absolutely. Yeah. If somebody was there and they're like, man, if Marcus would have got a hold of him, it would have went like this. Yeah, and this we're gonna is... get Keanu Reeves to play him. So just, yeah. just think in the in the house scene. Yeah. that's what I wanted it to be like. That yeah, would have been like. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> If I, I, yeah. I could have caught him, it yeah. like just, just like that. Like, that. Yeah. like, like, like I want to, I want to reshoot this in a dramatic yeah. recreation oh. where we play off a B story of the actual dispatchers like arguing. Like, yeah. I kind of want to let him keep going. I kinda, like, I want to see how this damn goes. It. Yeah. He keeps seeing the coolest shit. Yeah, you know, I have the Mustang and everything, right? So, I'm like, man, it's you know, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, now you're in a fastback Mustang. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, you're just on a motorcycle, <laughs> like in the middle. Of, yeah, shotgun on your back. Yeah, with the Terminator yeah. leather jacket what and everything. Like, I oh have that God. same car. I have that same bike. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. Damn. Oh, that's my cool. God. <laughs> yeah, a horrible story, but yeah. Jesus. Yeah. Like, the fact that you that, that you caught him, though. Yeah. And it was going to get bad. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I just, yeah. The conversations amongst the authorities and everybody involved in this oh, had to have yeah. been hilarious. Like, well, my like town, just, that was another thing. My town was great, too, because I found out everything about him. Oh, really? Well, yeah, I put the word out to one of our boys. I was yeah. like, hey, man, I need to know what this is and what I'm dealing with. So they, I got all the details on them. I knew where they were at all times. And mm. So then, um, you know, that's, I calmed down. Yeah. Had to. That was tough, though. I had to leave yeah. down for a little while. Oh, I'm sure. And relax. But, yeah. I get it. That's the Lord take care of that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's good. So I, it's, yeah. Yeah. It's I can't good do that anymore, did, it's right? It's good you didn't engage them. Yeah, no, yeah. no, not too. Yeah. Right. <laughs> it's like when you get back, there's certain things I had to give up. Right? Yeah. And life will still put me in a test to, to make sure that I gave it up. Could do like, it, yeah. Like yeah. you said, I loved uh, like your your favorite chief, your sea daddy. He said, 
it, you, you, always, you always tell me that he told you, he's like, I'm going to bring you to the edge of hell yeah. and I'm going to make sure that you stay right on that edge. Right yeah. on the edge. Like, is that, how does he put it? He's, he's like, I'm gonna, I want you on the edge with a demon's lip. Yeah. He's like, I'll pull you back when I think you've had enough. This is what <laughs> he built. He looks just yeah. like this motherfucker right here. <laughs> I mean, spitting him. Yeah. <laughs> and just the most technical, tactical. Yeah. He would, like, I'd come in, I'd get, it was a, I was wild. You know, we know how you got the guys in there. I was, <laughs> I drank the life. I was the team guy. Sure, yeah. I mean, the whole thing. Fight, feed, breed. That's all we did, kind of. And then you had that one chief. If you wonder where all the wild ones go that are, that are bad, that you think are bad, if you, there are programs for us. Sure. Right? <laughs> yeah. If you, just, if you just get them in there, the program will take care of it. Yeah. We, that's why we developed those. Okay. They're not bad kids. They just yeah. want to be yeah. just wild-ass Mustangs. Just, yeah. <laughs> they make the best yeah, horses. Put uses, yeah, yeah. yeah, put uses to them. Yeah. Like, right. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with doing that as an yeah. adult, man. If you, if you want to save that kid, man... Don't be afraid to hit him with the discipline. Yeah. That's what we have. You can take a wild kid, you give someone some discipline, and then your people applaud you for, for doing something for them as uh, opposed to you, against them. Yeah, yeah. It changes their perspective on them immediately. Yeah. It doesn't matter what, what they're doing. Yeah. If you're doing it for your people, man, they'll get out of your way. Yeah. And that, that was a valuable lesson. Well, and it's how, you, how, do you, how do you amplify it? You, give, you wrap the Tasmanian devil with a chainsaw chain yep. and put him in the forest. Well, he's going to be pretty damn effective. Yep. Oh, oh. But if this you put nice. him in a china shop, yeah. well, no, that ain't going to work yep. for us, are, is it? He wasn't designed, he wasn't designed for that. <laughs> no. <laughs> we, do, we do have that down here. I mean, there are guys yeah. that are designed for certain things. I mean, <laughs> if you don't put them in the right arena, they'll tear up whatever it is you put them in. Yeah. We know that, man. Our guys, I mean, our... Ranks run full of guys like that. I mean, I think that would be funny because we've always said that, like, if we if, if we got ourselves a junked tank and we had 24 hours to see how much we could rip it apart. <laughs> you should do that with anything. And then yeah, you put got, it back together. Like, oh, get, get, get the vet. We were talking about that, right? I was like, hey, man, have them some guns build something. See how far they can get with it. Well, you were saying let's try and build a pirate, pirate ship, ship in a day. <laughs> you know, okay? I just think bowing the wood would be our, our limb fact there. It's the Amish build a barn a day. They're fantastic. But you don't have to. Artists. You don't have to bend wood with steam. <laughs> okay, so maybe not a day. Let's go. Yeah. 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 Right. Got yeah. here right. too, man. Yeah, yeah. There's always the. It, it's kind of the fun when you bring that up. It's people. Uh, you know the guy when you're driving down the road it needs to be fixed. So you're complaining that the road needs to be fixed. Sure. But then while it's getting fixed, you're complaining. Because it's taking so long, long to fix. Yeah, so yeah, long like, oh, fixed. how much longer? I'm a back person. Yeah. I actually caught myself doing that one time. Yeah. I was like, wait a minute, they're oh, doing wait. what I want, so yep. why would I get mad? But then you forget that it takes time for some of that stuff to dry. Oh, it yeah. It takes time for it to, to do what it's supposed to it's do. It's a slow process, yeah. yeah. And then, if you want it done right. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we can shotgun some stuff together, but you see how what happens, though. It doesn't, mm-hmm. It's not sturdy enough. Yeah. You, wanna, you kind of want to draw it out. Or what it, not draw it out. You want it to do what it needs to yeah, do. Yeah, yeah. Well, we were talking about earlier today while you were out. Touring yeah. ranches. <laughs> it was just touring. How's that sound? Touring. Yeah, it, it yeah, doesn't I mean, sound how, real. Sound, right? It doesn't sound real, and it's so funny because, and they were talking about, they're like, yeah, we just met him two weeks ago, and now this is what we're doing with him. We're touring ranches. How, it, what is that? You mind me asking? No, dude, it's it's not, uh, it, it doesn't seem real at all. Uh, Especially like because I you know got this new job and it's really cool and I literally just met these guys at Shot Show was when I first met them and then we went and hung out at the Gundys had like a really good time there and then I've done like a few sponsorships for them and they just like it all it always went really well and they're like dude they're like we need that we need it more we need you to write for us more and then it just like has developed and we have like really similar interests and we have such a big network both of our companies that like we want to do cool stuff together and it just be like our cool group of friends doing fun stuff together and that's our job that's and, it and that, 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 that essentially it. has been tasked that's a real thing to yeah. build the Pastrana land for yeah, uh, that uh, art for our yeah that's that's if I ever what hear you complain about anything I'm a no, crackhead I, no I'll you know never that, right? I'll I mean, never it just, what are you it just never about? seems real like I, I could not be living a better life and it, yeah absolutely blessed it doesn't seem real like ever but yeah that's what we're doing we're, we're viewing two more today and the the third one is the one that we're really excited about that we think is probably going to be the winner and we're just yeah we're just going to be building it out like to, for everything that we could ever want to do so just fun shit I'm just yeah, yeah I'm just curious because we talked about this yesterday yeah I was like when we were growing up I remember thinking I was like man someone would just give me an opportunity uh huh and if I just see this to do this because uh, we didn't have the internet yeah. Well, so that was, like, yeah, yeah. When we were walking yeah. around here, that's what you well, said. Like, you like, go, you don't, could you imagine if we got this chance when we were right? And I was like, <laughs> well, what would you do with it? Oh, dude! Like you, 
Don't squander, right? Yeah, I mean, absolutely that's a gift. Like, not. You can't yeah. believe. Like, some, that's yeah. the best part. And we started talking about this is giving back to the younger generation so they can give back. Yeah. We are blessed with the coolest toys now. Yeah. Like, our, our generation, our guys, Gen X, man, that hybrids, they have come up with the craziest, funnest yeah. things to do other than killing each other. We don't sure. have to do that. Yeah, we, yeah. We're really good at that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But we want to stop that. We want to stop that, while. man. Like, yeah, I mean, we got to move to something yeah. else. I mean, we, we got good at that. Yeah, yeah. So let's race to another planet. Let's freaking, <laughs> yeah. you know, just do whatever sure. it is we need to do. Yeah. And each guy and girl has a component of that. And I think when you give it back to those kids, well, it feels good. Oh, yeah, absolutely. When you train them. Yeah. I, I just think that, that that's the whole purpose of going through a life and getting blessed with all that knowledge is you got to turn around and give it back. Absolutely, man. And like like you said, uh, I mean, I'm from super small town. Like, so me doing. What does that mean? It, like, it. How many people? Uh, I mean, my, my school, <laughs> my uh, yeah, my school, my graduating class was a hundred people. Oh, check. All right, uh, my high school. Right, so, right. like, yeah, it's like a, it's, and that's multiple counties coming together. Uh, so that's a, it was very small. Uh, I lived like a, a holler is where I lived. Oh, the, is that what they call them? Yeah, it was a holler. I know all about. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, I know so what you're talking about. I lived I in a holler. That word. Yeah, I it that was word. A, I don't a literal. The word. Yeah, it was a literal hour to like the like closest actual grocery store. Yeah, uh, and you had to go across multiple mountains and stuff. So growing up like that, you know, uh, everyone just had expectations of well, if you're you're here, this is where you grew up, this is where you're born, you're going to be a coal miner. Roger that. Uh, or you're nothing gonna, wrong with that. Yeah, yeah, which is great. That's my toughest, uh, my dad. Is, yeah, people that's, on the uh, that's hardcore. You're doing something that was way hardcore. Uh, yeah, you're doing either oil rig, you're doing uh, coal miner, you're doing lumber company like lineman or or cutting down trees or something in the medical field. That's your options. Either the hardest daily job you could do or a medical field. And uh, being able to, because I always wanted to do this, you know, like I was doing videos since I was 12 with my friends and I just kind of kept doing them as I grew up and for it to have become everything I could have ever hoped for and, and, and just keep, and I'm like, wow, I'm, uh, this is great. It's really coming real. And then it just keeps escalating. I'm like, oh, well, it just, it keeps going. It's going more and more. We're doing more cool stuff. We're doing stuff that like I never would have thought I would do like regularly as a job just is like awesome. And like I've, told so many people about that from back home like seriously like talking to my nephew and like people that are younger than me and like i ask me a question i'm like you can do it i'm like you, it's very possible with everything that is available on the internet right now and like just how many options and how many eyes you're able to get on you it's like you could make anything you ever wanted to do your job if you, you are that's passionate about dude, it right. i think are, people get spoiled yeah. too sometimes with some of this with, a- absolutely I, mean, I, I think absolutely. i think it's i, I I'll, I'll rephrase that i yeah. don't think they get spoiled but i don't think I, I think that it, it has become too common now that they don't truly understand what, How hard it, what it means. Yeah, yeah. And like, like, you know, our first episode, you know, has 2,500 views. Okay, if you put 2,500 people yeah. in a room and that many people wanted to listen to us talk for, yeah. for an that's hour. That's insanity. That's, yeah, yeah, that's, that's insanity. insanity. Yeah, because like, for, oh, for us. Like, yeah, 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 for us. Yes. Like, yeah, for the us. You and never have are. that opportunity exactly. to build a venue like that. We made that a because, silly video yeah. a couple weeks ago. With I mean, him that's him a Coliseum. Cowboy outfit, yeah. right? Yeah. Outfit. Yeah. Yeah. That, this, or this is a Coliseum. Though. Yeah, yeah. 350,000 people watch that. There's not a stadium on the planet that holds that many people. Yeah, it's yeah, it's That's a great way to say that. Yeah. But that's where I think. I think I I, I I hear it. You know, I because we're in the we're in this in that space. Group of creators yeah, yeah. And people constantly get on themselves of oh, only seventy thousand watch this on right. this one. Well, I failed. And it's like, like a lot. that's yeah. a full AT and T stadium. Yeah, full of people. Yeah, like that's a lot of eyeballs. And yeah. guess what? Not everything's gonna be a, a, a sure a freaking yeah, home run. millionaire. Video. Like, yeah. Like you gotta hit singles sometimes yeah. too. Well, they keep and changing the parameters of the, of the field. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know true. I mean? yeah. Keep moving the wall. Yeah, yeah. As like a lot of people set their goals and they'll overcome it so fast that it's kind of like well, you know there, there's, you can reflect on that. Absolutely, yeah. And give it and, and give it that time. But I, I can understand how th- it's it's a portal, man. Yeah. I see those old timers walking with them on their hips. I call them guys gunslingers. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because if somebody pulls out that pistol out right there and goes to work with it, mm-hmm. they can do some damage to you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, think about it like that. Yeah. If we get real serious going with it in the future, how technical that is, because used to be you could tell your kid something and he'd have to, that's his thing. Yeah. Oh, now okay. I pull that sucker up on you and give you an example. They're like, of, well, you're wrong. Right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Not true. And I don't know. Um, this had to have done something to us. I don't have, I don't have any studies on this or anything like that. But remember Y two K? Yeah, sure. And I talked yeah. about this. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> like so leading right up bef- to it. Right, yeah. right before that, we weren't on the same time. 
Like, no one was on the same time. No, no. Your, your watches were off a minute unless you synced it with somebody else. Mm-hmm. Kind of, you know, does yeah. that make sense? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, so there was no, everybody yeah, there was no global thing. Time. Now yeah. everyone is on the same time. Yeah. That had to do something to us. Oh, yeah. That had to change things for us to all be on the same time. Yeah. No, And you can see what happened when we all got on the same time where we went with that. Like, look at this thing. Like, our, our billionaires mer- measure their libido by their rocket ships, not their yachts anymore. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So... If we can visualize it, if we've seen it on TV, if yeah. there's some kind of, we can do it. Oh, do yeah. we think maybe they know something we don't? They, yeah, they're somebody always I mean, I'm sure, we absolutely. Yeah, they're, they're out there. They're, you know, they're, like they're yeah. building rocket ships because yeah, they need a, a, second, a second planet? Yeah. yeah. Mm, who knows? How does ownership rights go on another planet? I'm like, curious as to can how, you just how claim a planet? Like if, if you're the if first, you're the first you one there. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. No flag, no planet. You got to yeah. bring no flag, a flag. No yeah. So Black Rival Coffee should be the first coffee shop up there. I think you should get rights on the you next gotta get planet. There. I mean, I don't yeah, know yeah. if we have we know the, astronauts the ability too. to not breathe air, you know, with coffee. Yeah, that's we have to look into that from a science perspective. I just think that it's a good idea to get ahead of everybody with it. And next time our boys go up in space, Send the black I, rifle. I'm coffee. just curious. Like, does this? That's a great selling you know, point. We yeah. haven't been in a land this is off planet war since what, like 200 years, maybe 150 years is the last mm. time anybody really conquered. I mean, outside of like World War II, where they were sure. like, grabbing that was the last a bunch one. of shit. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So we haven't. There's been kind of a lull in the whole like fighting over territory. Yeah. Does it start again the second it we get on another does. planet? It absolutely does. Oh, it absolutely. Especially yeah, if we find another does inhabitable planet. start a planet? war back here? Probably. So if Russia attacks us on Mars, do now we attack Russia on Earth? Down or here? Yeah, to mess their comms entities? up. Or it could give something to, or, to look for it to be together. Yeah. It's like we got a colony. And usually when you, if there's two people on there, if you're trying to subdue the Earth. Yeah. Like imagine if we try to do that here. In the beginning, you wouldn't argue. You got more stuff to worry about. Yeah, yeah. Till, so when we finally did subdue this place, men started fighting each other. You have nothing to do. Yeah. That's where sport came in. Yeah. So I think if we come together on, on you, we can fight about anything. Sure, yeah. They can find some stupid stuff to yeah. argue about. Oh, stuff oh, you can't you, even you change. You see that every day, yeah. Right. Just point out obvious yeah, stuff yeah. upsets people. Yeah, but, and when yeah. our people get upset, you can, I mean, they're just, they get upset. You got to wait for them to calm down, or someone's got to calm them down. Yeah. I mean, that's just how we are. Yeah. It's nothing against anybody, no size. I don't pick any, any of that, man. But look, if they're worked up, they're worked up. Yeah, yeah but if we're looking at any any sort of uh, like past examples, especially with people from America, it's likely whoever gets over there, they're just going to look back on Earth and be like, we're not going to. This is ours now. Like, sure. yeah. I mean, that's what we did to the British. Yeah. You see what I mean? Like, yeah. what if they declared themselves no longer human? Yeah. Like, they were well, like, they're no, not, we're not. Well, they're not Mars wings. They wouldn't be an Earth wing, right? They're Martians. They're yeah. like, no, no you, you, you can't tell us well, what to do here's because the deal. we're not part of your planet anymore. Here's where yeah. that changes as soon as someone's born there. Oh, yeah. Because remember, you yeah. got the initial one, the Earthling. Uh-huh. Then you got the half, the hybrids, the Earthling Martians yeah. who set everything up. Uh-huh. And then you got that first sucker on the ground. Whoever he is, because he's born into that element. Technically, yeah. he's the original. He's the original. Mm. Like the grandson. Yeah. It's like even if the mom's side of the family hates the dad's side of the family, and then they, you know, they got a, a daughter and a son, and they marry, both families will love that grandbaby. Yeah. Oh, They yeah. might not like that husband. They may yeah. not like that daughter, but that grandbaby pulls families together. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And that's what... That's, I mean, I think it's the second that they're able to not have to rely on Earth sending supplies... Yeah, it's, the second absolutely. they say, yeah. we're our own fucking planet. Independence. Yeah. It's going to happen. So someone's going to lose a lot of money. Mm. <laughs> I don't think it'd be, it'd be a spot survival in the beginning, right? Well, money for Earthling sure. to get everybody there, yeah. probably. Yeah. No, but because somebody, whether it's the government or whatever, somebody's fun at funding all this, yeah. all the logistics. How would the you logistics. change that? Make it a competition? I don't know. I think you'd have I to mean, make it a competition. Make right? like an, uh, an Olympic. Yeah, yeah. Whoever did this <laughs> first, you don't, have to, out of it. Like, you don't yeah. have to pay taxes. Yeah. Like whoever gives me the ability to clean all the water around yeah. here, your company doesn't pay taxes. Yeah. Or no, you don't. Your family yeah. for the rest of your life. I don't care. Yeah, the generations. I mean, for yeah. generations. Yeah. Right? Yeah. For generations. Yeah. Yeah. That, by the way, why don't be. they? Yeah. Like why don't our Medal of Honor I think it's like, hey, you never pay, pay another taxes. tax. I don't yeah. want this. I mean, like, like, I appreciate my medal, but I'm gonna hook you up, man. Yeah. You don't have to pay t- This is a really cool medal and all, but like can this I stop is how our people award you. Yeah. You gave us this. I'm gonna I'm gonna cut I'm gonna cut that off of you, and we wouldn't even feel it. Yeah. I mean, America. No, not for a second. Not yeah, you should give every Medal of Honor recipient never pay taxes again in your life. Never that pay should property be a thing. taxes. Absolutely. Never register your I vehicles. think all of our honor grads should have yeah, no taxes. That'd be cool. Dude, 
We should champion. They should have yeah. a bunch of stuff, actually. Well, you and I, me and me and him. Don't even about get me this. started on that crowd. Our yeah. honor guys, man, they need to have parking spots and freaking free tickets to every event. Yeah, right. Right when your brother- if everyone knew what it took or what they did or what they had to go yeah. through to get that sucker around their neck. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean, oh, it's yeah, it's a but they big don't. deal it's a lot. because reality shows about you know teenagers in the Bahamas. Are yeah, we're popular. about to change reality. We're yeah. Put that respect change. back where uh-huh. it's supposed to go. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, no, I remember when your brother got elected, the first That's thing, where it started. I, the first thing I called way. you about <laughs> is I said, let's introduce a bill that makes a third of Congress have to be in any theater Bro, of that war. That was brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> No, I that think they that's declare absolutely on. brilliant. Like, you send us in to fight, which we don't mind. That's what Americans do. That's why there's a war on terror, war on drugs, war on everything. We love to fight. We love to fight. <laughs> I think it's because we all live together. Yeah. It's like, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, like, yeah. We're all different, yeah. so there's a vibe with that. Yeah. But absolutely, if you send them in, then a third of the leadership has to rotate their butts to wherever that, that field of fire is. They have to yeah. be in the they're actual in base. they got to be there. Like, you're, you're a congressman that yeah. voted to, to declare war. You have to be you on to the be base. There. Yeah. over there. <laughs> <laughs> How about that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We, you and I just need to be on the hill, just hey, champion this. Don't, yeah. You put me up there, man, the, the freaking military. Anybody in uniform services. Yeah. Us. I call us uh. It's us, right? Yeah. yeah. Uniform services of the United States. Stand by. <laughs> yeah because i mean some of the you see some of the guys that went through some and girls too man some of this stuff it just it, it would be you america wouldn't even feel it like it's a section of people that when we're gone and we're fighting you don't feel it right so if you come back and you take care of them they wouldn't yeah they, when you america yeah. wouldn't notice it but it is they need it you know it's, yeah actually it's theirs it's not a need or anything it's man you promised them that yeah yeah so uh you just you got uh like in a not really wouldn't say you got an award recently, but you. Oh, that was, oh, that yeah. was an award. You okay. were, yeah, yeah. You were that was awarded. every any word you could come up yeah. with. You got that's what you got. That's what I got. Yeah. Okay, yeah, let's hear it. It's the coolest thing yeah. ever presented. It sounded to, cool. It yeah. was, man. It was. Yeah. There, there's been some great ones in my life. Yeah. Kids being born. Mm-hmm. The invention of the wheel. Sure. Air conditioning. <laughs> yeah. That's a good one. I feel like hot water. That's that you really get good. it all yeah, times. Yeah. Yoga yeah. pants. Uh huh. Well, probably missing something, but. Last week when I graduated from, yeah, honor, honor grad from the Naval Academy. Pretty United big. States Naval United Academy States Naval graduate. Academy. How about yeah. that? You get a ring. Can you believe that? Yeah. That's awesome. They gave me that? That's pretty awesome. 2023, best class ever. Y'all remember that. <laughs> and you get a, you're the only. Some E6. Dude, E6. This is where it gets good, man. Okay, like a lot okay. of people, they give these, yeah. you know, it's like, it's a thing. You get your honorary graduate. The thing that makes me different is the SEAL component and that I was the E6. Yeah. Like, I didn't make it up into the khaki rank. I'm the king of the mafia right yeah. there, bro. You know what I'm talking about? Like, you get You're your gentlemen. What's up? Oh, yeah. that's my rank. Yeah, it's zero, zero, zero. Yeah, zero, zero. Oh. I'm the black eagle. Do you get to change your ID? <laughs> Do you get to change your ID? Card? I don't know, man. You I'm should ask. Yeah, I'm going to ask, right? Yeah. Yeah. Zero, zero, yeah. retired. Yeah. yeah, it was me and, and Britt Slavinsky, another honor grad, Medal of Honor guy. Yeah. But he's a master chief. That kind of puts him out of the room. Yeah, he's a khaki. Yeah. He's and not the you know I'm talking he's about? not the double eagle. He's double right zero, here, man. What's up? Black eagle. Black eagle. <laughs> it was the cool that graduation class. We had so much fun. The weather was perfect. Annapolis is fantastic. Yeah, it's the first time I ever got to go up there and kind of poke around. Because even the officers from my class that graduated from there, there's a there's a mystique behind that hope. We all know that. All the the, the academies, West Point, the Air Force, Naval Academy, all of them, man. There's something behind that. Yeah. So to have that. Have that happen, man. And the lady that graduated with us too, Miss Buck, she was she's fantastic, man. And Can it was you, a great. It was a great. I mean, what a great honor. Please start just constantly referring to back when I graduated from the Naval Academy. I'm going to. Uh, please <laughs> do. Oh, no, please do. Like, like, you're not going like, to believe milk it. this motherfucker. Yeah. I'm going to take it like you can't her. believe, man. No one can brag about the Naval Academy yeah. like I can now. <laughs> just wait. I was like, first Army Navy game I was going to was I was going to wait till my buddies we all got back from the war, right? Because that just recently happened to us. Yeah. Afghanistan was over. So every, all, everyone's back now. Yeah. But once that happened, I was like, oh, I'll be there. I'll be there with, sit, with, with my the class, ring. with my ring on. With your class. class. <laughs> like, like, you got to keep hitting yeah. up all your classmates. I will yeah. be like, hey, are we going to the game yeah. this year? <laughs> Somehow, some way, I'm going to get back on the high yeah. side, the net, and I'm going to contact all of them because I'm going to 23s. Yeah. yeah. It's like, you son of a gun, better show up. Man. I want to know where all you of you are You got to go to the times. reunions, everything. Yeah, so yeah. here's the way I look at it, actually, is that now I have access to boats and yachts and, or, or airplanes and helicopters. Yeah. Like, if I ever need a ride, I just call up one of my classmates. 
I'm like, this mm. is the Black Eagle coming in. I need a yeah. halo. Oh. <laughs> oh. Dude, you yeah. want to talk about yeah. a network? Yeah. One of them is going to captain an aircraft carrier. Dude, we're yeah. going to cast this in. Wait till they get of age. Wait till they start making rank. Yeah. Oh. yeah. One of That's them. when we're going to have some fun. Yeah. Like right now, <laughs> you and I, we're going to be on the phone. Oh, yeah. bro. So the, the commandant, he had the, um, the greatest line ever. And I, I'm pretty sure it was a CNO of the Navy that delivered this, man. He was up there talking to the class, and, and uh, it was so smooth. I'm not going to say it right, but he goes, you know, after you, uh, you get your, your education from here and you graduate, it's guaranteed all of you are going to get a job. And I, I, I'd never heard that before. No other university can guarantee it. Yeah. I mean, everyone that graduated from there got a job, Yeah, which means including me. Yeah. So there's obviously a job waiting on me, right? <laughs> Somewhere. I was pretty happy yeah. about that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. By the way. Hey, where's mine? Yeah. <laughs> but it was, man. Them coming out of there and just seeing, well, it was a great reminder to see where we come from in the leadership capacity, excuse me, of uh, how that all starts. And I, I mean, I just had the best time. I was the greatest, greatest award, accomplishment, acknowledgement in that class. Well, I mean, tell us like how they came about selecting you. Cause that was cool. Yeah. Like the whole right, reason so why I had forgotten about it. Right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So they're the original quarantine class. They started from a lot of times we forget the ball year. So they graduate in the 23s, but they started in a zero year. And then that year they were obviously went through quarantine. Everyone was locked down. So everything's changed for them. Yeah. I mean, they're kind of like Phoenixes, right? Everything. There was a pattern that had been going forever. And then all of a sudden it, it got broken for a little bit before it got put back online. Well, that little schism had to do something. Yeah. I mean, we acknowledge it openly. So it obviously, it makes them a little different. Yeah. And throughout the, when we were locked down, I mean, we were too, at midnight, a lot of my, a couple of my buddies went back to be instructors there and great dudes. So they called me up. Like, hey, what are you doing, man? Like, Just kind of doing this. And he's yeah. like, if you want to call in at midnight, we got all the, all the, they're all locked down. The mids are locked down. And we just talk about, at first it was, Education. It's like, hey, talk about being in the teams and your leadership. But yeah. we had done it so many times, it started like, hey, man, what's going on? How are you doing yeah, over there? Up? I mean, what, here's, here's what you really need to know. Yeah. Like, all you female officers, if you run across a seal, we're always going to come at you. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> you're giving them I real mean, life yeah, advice. Like, it's the hey, truth, man. They're coming at you. you. They're going to come at you. Yeah. <clears throat> and uh, I, I was like, oh, you know, it's cool, man. It's just, there's certain things in the military that are, that are great things. And, and I learned, well, just much from them. You got to understand. I mean, they could up up and comers, man. They could teach you so much yeah. about, and they they do just hearing them talk and, and what they're going through, and it's exciting to, to see them starting because we're finishing right. Yeah, on one side, and well, um, yeah, you and I are about as soon as you're done with this, we'll talk about our retirement. Yeah, we're, community we find, that we're that's building. right. Yeah, <laughs> wait till we get the veterans going. Yeah, <laughs> I, I've been telling everybody that. Okay, so imagine when you join the military, that's actually joining the school, and then you go to all your classes, which is what we do. Then you go to war. That was another phase. It's actually when you get out is when this gets fun for us. Like, this is when we start our club. Yeah. <laughs> it's already there. It's just putting it together. And that's what we've been doing. It's a great time. No, that's what him and I are, are developing right now. Yeah. Is we're going to start kidnapping celebrities that we uh, think yeah. need to that be. That was a great idea. Group. Yeah. 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 We'll go get our friends. Yeah. yeah the van. We're yeah. going to force them to be our friends. Yeah. Because they don't know that they need to be our friends. Right. Yet. And with our intentions are right. <laughs> yeah. Our, our, yeah. our intentions are yeah. correct. We came here to make you our friend. All right. We've yeah. been watching. You're a great dude. We think you'd be a great addition to the club. We're here to get you. But they need it too. Yeah. Like, like you know, some of them are at the, you know, there's there a lot of the people that we that we all grew up with watching from the time that we were teenagers to now, like those actors are kind of done on yep. their way out. Yeah. And but there's no you know Hollywood really has only been like two generations if you think about it. So being globally known and things like that is very new. Yeah. Because like you go to back two hundred years, what did somebody see a piece of paper about you pinned to a wall somewhere? Yeah. yeah, like, yeah. Oh, I think I've, I think I've seen a sketch of you before. Yeah. yeah. Like. But so like, this is a very new thing. So no one's teaching these people how to kind of come off of that, of like, Hey, you're no longer, you know, Brad Pitt. Yeah. Like, yeah. And, and, and I think like, if there's anybody that knows how to, how to adjust from doing what we did in war for so long and then coming off of it, like we know it's how drug. to do that. Yeah, so, yeah. so we're the ones to kind of teach these yeah. people how to, start the second phase of their life and build the network that they want around them, by the way. That's like right. you look at your and Maya's Rolodex, when we combine it, there ain't, it's, you can get it's, do you can get anything? Anything. Like it's, it's, it's say anything, safety, anything, yeah. food, <laughs> danger, protection. Can't believe what our crew can do, man. <laughs> yeah. Like we've got somebody for everything. Like, 
It's something, man. So I mean, this is this is where we're. Yeah. This is where this we we had a nine hour drive. We started talking about this about the whole psychology of of you know because you have seen it in some you you've seen a lot of a lot of the celebrities from our time frame kind of like fall off the rails things yeah. like that. Was well, because it's, it's this adjustment thing of like oh man, that's all it is going yeah. back. We were talking yeah. about it when you join the military. It's like walking into the gym, mm. and but when you get out is when you actually leave the gym. Yeah. So the, when you that time period when you first get out and you're sore, your mind sore, your butt. That's what that is. Yeah. It's like you just got out of the gym. You're relaxing, kind of re, go to routine. I think one of the biggest problems we have is there's everything goes into getting us in. People say, "Hey, man, you're lucky to be in the military." It's like, "No, nah, man, you're lucky to get out." No. Yeah. In our generation, there needs to be a two year cycle, a two year enlistment, getting out. Yeah. <laughs> like I'm sending your butt to school. Yeah. <laughs> I found an out. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I know. I mean, if we lose one more guy or girl, I'm going to lose it. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Like, I don't care if you got freaking stars on parallel bars, if you got Chevron scars, anything in between that, man, if you got a problem, we got an out. Yeah. Right. We're, we're figuring this thing. Yeah. And we came out by ones and twos. Check. Yeah. Well, we're designed to work as a team, but it's like each individual person had to go out and get some, good at something for yeah. whatever reason. And a lot of guys and girls, they get so focused on something, they'll go so hard in the pain at it, they'll burn themselves out. That's why we exist. You got to pull them back. They're not designed to slow down. Yeah. Yeah. They're designed to go. Yeah. And that, man, you got to have a throttle body in there. Somebody who can understand, <laughs> man, like I just, it's like with a horse or anything else. Yeah. I mean, run that sucker. Run it to like death. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. You well, take care of it though. It'll take care of you. Yeah. So also I've heard it described really well as like, what's the, what's the pipeline to train up to be a seal? Even just to get to a team is you, you measure it in years, right? Years. Yeah. So they spend all this time wiring you to be a way. And then your ETS process or whatever the different services call it is like three yeah, months, maybe. Weeks. Yeah, oh, man, some of you guys get out overnight. Yeah, like you're just start out there with like while they're in the war zone. So when they get back, slap on the ass in like, a good day. Yeah. I think what happens? Oh, our terminal leave. Yeah, like yeah. guys will backfill that, and they'll just be like, "Just leave." I'm like, "No, you actually need some components to because the stuff that we don't worry about while we're in, you yeah. got to worry about when you're out. That's yeah. all it is." <laughs> but you shouldn't. In my what I think is you shouldn't ever get out. Like once yeah. you go in, you sign up on the line, we got you. Like there's no reason why that shouldn't be a thing. Like, yeah. You can go on any medical base, any military base, go into their hospital. Yeah. You know but what I mean? That like, wouldn't, that wouldn't, you're not like, military and dental or medical and dental is not a thing while we're in. Y'all know that. I yeah. mean, if they're, if you miss dental, they yell at you. Oh, you can't you get, do anything. Yeah. You get in there and you're gone. I mean, it's, it runs so freaking smooth. It's the last thing you worry about. I don't know how the mess up happens, but we can fix all that. That's just a matter of doing it. Well, that's why we got guys like your brother on the hill now. Yeah. It's just a matter of getting he's, back. He's actually working on things yeah. like that. You, you ever... We've all seen somebody drunk, you know, when they're yelling at somebody and they, if they, if they keep saying the same thing, they say it louder. Yeah. Okay. That's, that's being drunk. Yeah. You're okay. So have you ever seen anybody in political power? They'll say something, but then they'll say it louder. Yeah. That's power drunk. Yeah. Yeah. That, that's an actual thing. Oh yeah. There's people, if you don't, if you don't like possess a physical power, physical strength, and we give you a position where you have power over somebody who can physically be power, more powerful yeah. than you. Yeah. They feel that. Oh yeah. And I would imagine that's intoxicating. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah. It has to be. Yeah. That's how you see people abuse their power. And that's where collision, that's where that problem happens, man. And and, and with the different kinds, it's like each vanity and each virtue you have, man, try to get sharpened in a freaking day. And you can tell somebody, I mean, you want to see some experience. You want people to go through something because that's how you whittle that out. Yeah. And um, I think it was Ben and I were joking. I was like, man, if you come into the company as dad's boy and you start as the freaking president you, you it won't last and they'll hate you yeah, yeah they will you better get your ass in the mail room and suffer a little bit and be like oh well he's done everything he's checked all the damn boxes i mean yeah, yeah he did it well and because there are things that happen with us that are naturally occurring yeah natural human occurrences we don't talk about them because it's just kind of an understood thing but like if you do this like if you lift weights this that's gonna happen yeah this is when I teach my younger ones. Did you ever hear that term, mind, body, and spirit? Yeah. Everywhere you go, even, you know, even if you're not religious, you hear it. Yeah. Right? Mind, body, and spirit, martial arts, and everything like that. So people who are born in this world, you got a, one or three going on. Like some people are born in their body people. Like why do you go to that gym? Why do you work out? Like why do you play that sport? Yeah. They usually don't like being in school, and we're very, very rarely they go to church. Right? Yeah. You're not born with that. Yeah. When somebody walks in the door and they're in shape, it immediately tells you something. Yeah. Actually, it tells you a lot of things. They have discipline, you know, because you you got to earn that and you have to keep earning it. Yeah. Then you got the mind people. You can't really spot them until they open their mouth. But then you're like, hey man, why do you read those books? Why that philosophy? Why do you go to that school? 
Mine, people usually don't go to the gym. And they kind of stay away from church. Yeah. Or they'll do one of the two, right? Yeah. Then you got the spirits. And you can spot them. They got beads everywhere. They hit you with a Bible. They smell a certain way sometimes. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. I can really easy go in. Yeah. Y'all know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah. You can identify them. They yeah. do it on purpose. Knowing what happens when you train your body. Like you walk into that gym, you do that, and it does that. Knowing what happens when you go in a schoolhouse and you manifest the papers into your mind and it yeah. changes you. Knowing if you go into a church house, it does the same thing to your spirit. Yeah. You ever run across anybody who trains all three of them suckers? No. Very few. You probably have. Yeah, yeah. No. I yeah. can't think of one. They're rare. Yeah. That's a full schedule if you yeah. try. But, yeah. That's a third of the day. I mean, yeah. you've got to put some work in. It's like breaking your, down, your week down into a third. Working yeah. three days a week. Then, you know, I, it's right stuff, man. Yeah. Life gets in the way of that. <laughs> I heard it put one time. I was like, have you ever noticed the terms that we use, like life and time, and we all die in this movie? You ever wonder what you did to get put in here? Because you're doing life, man. Yeah. You're doing time. Or you're doing time and you've got life yeah. with the freaking death penalty. <laughs> yeah. With the death penalty. With yeah. the death penalty, man. We all got the death penalty down yeah. here. We all die down here. Yeah. Most people overlook that fact. Yeah. So if you know that we're down here doing that, man, and you're doing time, man, we're going to try to do it right. Yeah. I'm just going to start telling people that. They're like, how are you? I'm like, well, I got the death penalty. Yeah. <laughs> yeah like, what do you mean? I'm like, well, how many years you got I'm before your death penalty? No one knows that. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, hey, man, somebody's got 40 some years before they, they yeah. took him back. <laughs> yeah, but when you, like, there is this very interesting YouTube video that, uh, that plays like the cycle of the entire universe in a matter of like 40 minutes yeah. and it doubles in time every like four seconds, like to the point where like, you know, you're hundreds of trillions of trillions of trillions of years down the yeah. rabbit hole of this. Like, so when you see like just the, the, you know, we're on a, on a, t- on a time scale of life being able to be on this planet. Yeah. Yeah, passing through. Yeah, there's just there. There's a start. Like you and come an end down point. here to get your qual. Right? Like so, then what? Like so, we have we have so much time to figure out how to get off this thing and go somewhere else, or be able to 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 build something that is self sufficient up in space. Otherwise, like that time runs out and the sun gets too big, nothing can survive on this place anymore. Yeah, I think all that stuff kind of coalesced, right? If it's, if it's in our head, you kind of we got the damn death thing, penalty. Yeah, we yeah. got <laughs> to do it. Yeah, don't feel bad about it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Caleb's dying. Yeah, but that's what you start telling. I, yeah, you listen to the like the smart guys talking about how the universe, the, like the Big Bang. I always, I always heard explain the Big Bang. It's more like a derogatory thing. So something boom, there was the Big Bang, and then boom, there was a baby born, which yeah. is the universe. And I remember them talking about. Uh, I heard them say that the universe is set up just like the human body. So in, in the deepest recesses of the space it's only a few degrees off that's the same way with your body like in the feet and your hands it's a few degrees off and then they used to think that the universe was shrinking right but then they recently found out that it's actually expanding right and it's 13.7 billion years old so what happens to the human body at 13 years old freaking puberty puberty. yeah Yeah. puberty start growing yeah so i mean all the everything that's happening if you you break it down because the pattern to make everything that's inside of us was comes out of a star in the universe like all the iron, all the minerals, and everything like that. Why it's, does a nebula look like an iris of an eye? Yeah. Well, we can go all day on that kind of thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Where's Tyson Degrassi, right? Where, yeah, that, that guy's yeah. name is just smart, right? Oh, Whatever, yeah. When he opens his mouth, yeah. I listen. He's you like, like uh, my, uh, yeah, he's my, one of my, my instructors. <laughs> we, we need to hunt him down. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You've got our friend crew, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, him He'd and Paul Rudd. Paul yeah. Rudd's Rudd. at the top of the list. Yeah, we yeah. got him, too. I forgot who else we had. Yeah. Miles We Taylor. just started it, yeah. Yeah, we need Rooster. <laughs> Paul, Paul was first, and now we got Tyson. We got to get him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Even if I got to scare him into it. Yeah. Well, you know, Ty- Tyson's there because we we just want him around so we can ask him questions. Yeah, because I mean, we'd be frustrated as hell. Yeah, <laughs> a science teacher. Because when he talks, you want to listen. I, yeah. I don't know what that is. Like, if you can make something interesting, oh, that's yeah. not. He just got that way about him. He does. Man. Right? He, like, does. I, he has a way I, about I know, him. Like, I feel like I can learn. Yeah. from you. He's, he's also like, he's, super he's excited to be telling. That's you. what it is. That's what it is. He's like because he's like yeah. Well. And he has like a, I, it has like a, a, a smirk to him. That, and, that I'm an idiot. And he's, Look, he, yeah, and he's like, it's like he's, he's excited to tell. I to would teach so you. excited yeah. to teach you. Yeah. I would pay to watch a television <clears throat> show of Neil teaching you science. Yeah. Well, like, all of us. Like, yeah. put all these team guys and yeah. all these kind of alphas in a room and have him teach us physics, man. I mean, I would have no. I, yeah. I listen to that awesome. dude all the time, man. Yeah. <laughs> Neil, I mean, he was Neil on deGrasse the, Neanderthals. Yeah. You're going to teach a bunch of yeah, us, yeah, right. yeah. Like, hey, You're the only one like, that can what? teach these guys, man. You got to get in there and help them. 
Yeah, he's something, man. Yeah. We got a few of them out there. We should start our own space program. Yeah, we should. Start our own. Is that Do you want to go to space? So that's a great question, man. Because it's like people have so asked me. So I'm kind me, of in my like, in-between right now, yeah. and I feel like every time you ask me a question about that, I, I would give an improper answer to, to either my past life or my forward life because I'm raising kids and all that. So you know, i got to be here for that. My focus is on yeah, that. Yeah. But if, I think if a position to open up as door gunner on one of the ships that we're going to, <laughs> yeah. I, I might have to pick that up. Yeah, you know then, I mean? yeah. Just yeah. the old guy on the, on the, or the whatever. And then um, I'm curious as to how we're going to do it because it's stationed underneath the Air Force, but the Air Force has never run a ship. That's yeah, a Navy. Exactly. That's a yeah. Navy That's thing. a Navy thing. Yeah. So you're going to have to have both of us in there. Yeah. Just like an oil rig or something. There's yeah. the guys it's driving. It's a captain. Mm-hmm. Yeah, captain. Yeah. Captain. Captains of the ship, right? The captain yeah. of a ship knows how to run the different sections, sections. of the ship. Right. Yeah. No one in the Air Force knows That's that. That's not a thing, There's right? just yeah. nothing in the Air Force that does that. Okay. Yeah. I didn't know so that. So that but... doesn't make sense. That has never made sense right. to me. I said, if we go into, into yeah, space with in Navy ships, thing, right? the Navy needs to be the one that runs it. I remember yeah. there was a cartoon when we were a kid, the, the, well, like, little bitty, and the spaceship was an old uh, diesel boat submarine. And for the life of me, I can't remember the name of it. If anybody can remember it, it's hmm. a good pull, but... That's kind of where that idea is like, hey, man, that's the Navy thing. Yeah. Hmm. Wow. Well, this is what happens when we start talking about Neil deGrasse. Uh, it shifts to deGrasse. Yeah, well, I mean, like, Caleb. <laughs> yeah. His name's so smart, I can't even say yeah. it. Yeah. Caleb can tell us a lot about space. Uh, yeah. Like, uh, is that one of your niches? Like, what's your weird, what, okay, what's your weird thing that you, you're real good at if people looked at you as big and scary that you know? Uh, poetry. I like poetry. You, yeah, I like poetry. Or gardening? Uh, I can, yeah. So that's a warrior thing. Well, I mean, you'll have to come see my apartment after. Yeah, way, we, yeah, we got to take him up there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So Caleb, I, I mean, let me, not, like, it's like, like, like the number 23 with Jim Carrey, where it's all over the walls. And no, shit. No, 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 yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Caleb lives of, in his own fort. Yeah. Right? Like, like yeah. so he has built a fort, Yeah, like as if you were 13, but now you're his age, uh-huh. and he has a fort. Yeah. And he had money to like build it yeah. for you. Yeah, it's uh, yeah, it's a little bit of both. I've got all my plants. I've got my my books. Yeah. So have you gone back to your town and done anything, given anything? Uh, no, but I I have uh, I've been talking about going back and it takes and, time and speak. Yeah, because I, I want to. That takes time. I want to say that I to wanna, people. It's like, hey man, you can't just go make it and then give it back because then you, you got to establish yeah, yourself. I want to be able to talk about it well if you if yeah. you know what i mean like Absolutely i want i want to be able to um uh, really know what i'm talking about right. and and be confident in what i'm saying uh when i go back and do it uh, because yeah we've that's squared away man Good yeah job. they've yeah they've asked me because uh, like my sister uh does like stuff with the board of education back home like she was always a teacher and now she works with the board and like my friends like people that i worked with they're all board members and stuff and we've talked about it before about me coming back and and speaking at the schools that i went to and yeah. and just talking about this being like hey yeah it's very that's possible great. yeah, yeah. I, so, I understand and doing stuff like that but yeah yeah uh definitely a goal well first you gotta live the example yeah exactly yeah i, I, I understand yeah. that completely yeah. i mean we want to get out there if you're gonna throw a name up on something but what's behind it right yeah so exactly yeah you're doing a great job with it i mean coming out of that town right yeah exactly yeah and make you forget some, about yeah. that yeah now remember man the treasure chest is where you were born uh-huh yeah that's what to built it. Key, yeah. yeah that's what built me to that's be right. this to way find yeah. the keys to open a lot of that you gotta leave yeah Yep, and learn everything. And when we walk back, when we got back home from the wars and everything, yeah. and I was doing the Hollywood and sure. started settling down, and then I started integrating back into my town. Yeah, I forgot how much I missed them, man. Oh yeah, just that day to day life. Yeah, especially down here in Texas, man. <laughs> you right? can't beat. Texas. I'm recruiting everybody. Yeah. yeah, I mean, if you wore a uniform, if you did anything, <laughs> man, you get your butt here. We're starting Sparta all over yeah. again, whatever. Whatever, however we got to do it. Yeah. Just get here. <laughs> <laughs> Dave, did we get any good comments or questions? Uh, uh, here, let me, let so me look, too. Yeah. We went to the group. The, uh, the top, and actually first question I got, which I want to hear, too, because I love military stories that aren't military stories. Yeah. Uh, what's, like, the best joke or prank or anything that you've been involved with? Ooh, the best prank on one of the, the guys. You've got a hundred. Oh, well, you know the deal, man. The first words out of any of us are lines. I mean, a lot of them, you know, you, the best ones are just like, I know what you want. <laughs> <laughs> I know exactly what you want, man. But, yeah, some of them. So some of the great ones, man, we, had, we actually had with JJ. Like, he, he actually had got a phone call where his guys tried to outrun a train and got hit by it. <laughs> <laughs> Please continue. <laughs> we found the story. <laughs> Wait, I just did repeat that. Okay. Just repeat that again. Start Imagine this. Again. All, all, like, the, like, all the vets out there, I'm painting you a picture right now. 15-pack <laughs> silver van, Kano line. New guy behind the wheel. 
2 a.m., two senior dudes in the back. No, mafia dudes, E5s. <laughs> Coming back from, from the bar as the designated driver was the new guy, dude, and the train tracks were doing, we were in there shooting one of the shooting schools. Mid South, probably. Yes, of course. <laughs> <laughs> if you're running, and they were like, train. "Man, you know, as soon as that horn started, they guys wanted to get back. It was for whatever reason started hazing that kid. I was like, you better not let that freaking train beat your ass.' Sure enough, he didn't. That's the one thing about our crew. So you, you got to understand that you're dealing with 17 to 24 year olds that drive aircraft carriers, jets, fight Navy Navy SEALs, all attack peas. <laughs> we're all early 20s. I want you to freaking think about that. <laughs> <laughs> No one ever says that out loud, dude. Yeah. You're talking about, yeah. I mean, it's like the military academy. It's yeah. its own freaking thing, especially with those wars going on. <laughs> you, I mean, the funniest stuff comes out of that. And I, so we got guys literally that are, I've had people younger than me that would look straight in the face like, hey, man, I need you to kill that. I need you to attack that. And we'd do it. Yeah. Think about that, man. You talk about some strength behind whatever the lineage yeah. and just the rank structure. Yeah. So driving back and they're like, hey, man, you better not let that damn train beat you. And being a new guy, you're like, no, nah, I ain't letting it happen. Mm. Boom. <laughs> just ran right into it. <laughs> <laughs> and then JJ, of course, the officers are asleep, right? Yeah. And then the phone call comes he in. He gets like, a call. We need you to come down here. Yeah, yeah. The guys tried to beat a train. Yeah. How about that? And got hit by and it. Hit by it. <laughs> that when you said that, that was the first one that popped into my head. I thought they'd Damn. give you that one. That's that's like, and they all that. survived. Yeah, it's a good one. So, so then the fun part of that also is like, as you grow up in the military, you become those positions where it's like, How about you that? get those phone calls. Yeah. You get those phone. It comes back on you. <laughs> <laughs> How cool are you gonna be? Yeah, Dude, that's why we tell those stories. I was like, nah, I didn't go through that, but I had a buddy. My son pulled something off in college one time, and I mean, his mom so much so where she threw him on on the jet and got his ass to the house. Kind of deal. I called my, my, my buddy, my, one of my friends up because I did the same thing when I was in college. I launched my truck into the middle of a pond, dude. And, and I remember my friend, it was his truck. And I was like, yeah. he's the first person I called. I was like, hey, man, uh, real fast. <laughs> I was like, my kid jumped his truck into the pond. Good story. Everyone's okay. What would you have done to your son? What, what, what should you do, right? Like, yeah, what, yeah, should, yeah. what should we have done to each other kind of yeah. deal? And he told me. He's like, this is what happened. I remember what happened to him, right? He got, he got, he got drove over, but then he's like, no, do it like this. It'll be great. So I did it. I played it out. I called my buddy. He's the one that went through it, and I didn't. But I got his knowledge from him, yeah. and it worked out great. So, <laughs> so I mean, there's, that's a reason. told you how to handle it. How to handle it. <laughs> like, if you get in a situation, you get pickled up, man, where you, you don't know what's going on. Trust me, you got a buddy that does. Yeah. And that's for anything, I think. Maybe not with our women. No, each woman's kind of. You give your, <laughs> yeah. Did you give your buddy advice on a woman? That's yeah. a hookup you don't want. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. no, they won't listen. Hey, let me anyway. tell you how to do with your wife, bro. Yeah. They, yeah. They, they won't listen anyway. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, that's exactly what you, I want you, you to do, to, man. Have you ever tried to warn your friend yeah, about yeah, somebody? Exactly. Hey, don't go over on they're, that one. They're like, no, no okay, that's, sure. That's God's God's way way now. Now. Uh, sure enough, man. Yeah. When God hooks us up like that, there's a barrier. Yeah, whatever comes out of your buddy's mouth, it's well intentioned, but it's like. <laughs> Only with the wives. Yeah. How about that? <laughs> How great are they, man? Freaking military wives. Did you get anything? Uh, no, I didn't have anything good. Oh, right. Yeah. No, that was a good one. Yeah. I yeah. Good. yeah. I, I could listen to those stories all day. <laughs> yeah. Dude, the like, train, dude. Yeah. We, no. fellas, we had some guys that, we, yeah. that were on a, on a that went th- classmates. Yeah. Right? They were on, the, their ship was in port, and where the, if they dock up where the SEALs are, we just go out all night. The best part, I know, but like SEALs, we can have a good time with each other. It's when we integrate with y'all. It's like when y'all come into town and we work with each other and we go yeah. out, that's when the, we really get into it. And then um, waking up on the ship the next morning when it's underway and jumping oh. off the side. Because oh, normally, you know, anybody goes overboard, you're going to like, hey. But the guys that would have to do that are – They, like, went back and passed out on the ship and the ship yeah. took off. One of the funniest ones – They would swim home. One of the funniest ones I heard was a guy – excuse me. He came into work the next morning. He was soaking wet. Like, contrary to popular belief, team guys don't like to be wet and sandy all the time. But I guess what had happened was he went down partying on the, on the boardwalk, and the bars were locked up, and he left his backpack in there. So he went to go knock on the door, and he's like, hey, get me in. I need my backpack. And yeah. this homeless dude was like, hey, they're locked up. If you knock on the door, it's this, that, and the other. And he kind of leaned over and smart ass. He goes, hey, uh, I don't need any freaking advice from a homeless lawyer, you know, or something like that. Yeah. Well, he goes out to the beach and passes out, and he wakes up the next morning, and someone had shit all over him. Mm. So he went and jumped into my. So dude passed out and freaking homeless guy took crap. But he goes back, back in the next morning soaking wet. 
just hooking wet, dude. And he's and we're like, was what happened to him? He starts telling that story, man. I was like, hey, that's a typical day. The best part of coming into the team room was the stories. Mm. <laughs> oh, yeah. You know what I'm talking yeah. about? Oh, I mean, Mondays, like when you when yeah. you walk up, Monday briefs, Mondays were the best. I mean, if you want to talk about if you hate Mondays, join the military. Yeah. Because that Monday morning brief, once you get with a crew and they walk in and be like, I can't wait to hear what happened to your ass. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's got a scar. Yeah. yeah. Like, Oh, what? big old, big old freak. I mean, and you came, I'm mean, like, our guys will get into anything at that age when they yeah. get money and the, there's a place to eat, yeah. a place to sleep and you got some boys to watch you back. We get into something. <laughs> oh, yeah. Have you ever considered maybe, maybe we should like give ourselves a big scar? All right. So I've I been mean, working on that, that my whole career. Cool. Yeah. You know, I got up in here and kind of one of the deals and there, I got them everywhere else, but like the good Josie Wales kind of, yeah, just right down yeah, there. You know, I, I, I feel like you got to earn cool that. story about that. Yeah. yeah. You got to earn those. I think. Yeah. Uh, literally in high school, uh, me and my friend were talking about that. And I was like, man, like if I ever got a cool scar, I think it'd be awesome if it went right here, like across the bridge yeah, of the nose, right? like not damaging my eyes or anything. Just like a cool, With a little bit of lightning scar. in it. Yeah. yeah it just bit. looks fucking cool. Yeah. The next day I got hit by a coal truck. There you go. And. <laughs> A coal truck? Yeah. What? The of course next, you did. The, the next, next day, day yeah. on the a way to a truck. dentist appointment, me and my mom got hit by a coal truck, and it ripped my eyelid off, and it was like hanging down, and I like I was all fucked up. She got launched from the car. What? And, yeah. Oh yeah, it was bad. Like it almost it almost killed her. And uh, but, so that's why Caleb yeah. doesn't make wishes anymore yeah. for a damn scar. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And so then, like you know, she you know she had to have surgeries and stuff, and like, but I was like. Well, I'm not beat up, that, yeah, yeah. I was beat up, but I went to school the next day because it was finals week. I went to school the next day, and I was so swollen, like my whole face was fucked up and like scratched up bloody glass. My head was all swollen because I, I wasn't wearing my seatbelt and I got like bounced around. And uh, he was there, and he's like, "We wished too hard for that scar," <laughs> and I was like cracking up, and like, but it hurt so bad because my head was there. And the, and my like, teachers, Aww. my teacher was like, "What are you doing here?" I was like, "I, I was like, it's finals." They were like, "No, go home." Yeah. They're like, "You don't have to take finals." <laughs> I was like, "Okay, your good. mom was ejected like, from the car." I just wanted you to see like, that I was putting yeah, out. Yeah, your I was like, "I just want you guys to be worse." Yeah, I was like, "I came to try," yeah, yeah. and they were like, "No," because like. My whole eye was like, they, like they had to glue my eye like together because it like, ripped it up and like all of that was all swollen and like closed. I couldn't see everything was all bruised up and I'm like barely awake. And they're like, no, go home. And I'm like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I got a buddy I grew up with, we same crew and his, um, he's built just like you are. Looks yeah. like a grizzly bear with no hair. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> grizzly bear with no hair. You know what I'm talking about? Like yeah. when they tighten that muscle, that's strength. Yeah. That's pure freaking yeah. strength. And, and I mean, he can move. Anyways, he was hunting out in the middle of nowhere. As a matter of fact, his middle name is Friend. Oh, uh, wow. yeah. He's a great friend too. Yeah. He's the one that has all the toys because he'll make sure you use them. Yeah, like from the jet skis and, and going hunting and everything. Like that. Anyways, he had a gun blow up in his face. Oh, and he, he has a kick ass scar. Ah, oh, I mean he has lucky. a good one. Yeah, good one. Yeah. <laughs> like I had my sunglasses on when I got yeah. hit, so it just kind of went through my nose and my face, and I sure. got that little. Yeah, but I think yeah. you could you could make yours the way you want it, and then yeah. just claim it. Yeah, I think you've you've got a special, you know, you're kind of a special case. Too far along yeah. now, man. Yeah. Not really? No, you I mean, could just nobody, say like I had, yeah. to do, I had to do some uh, secret stuff. Yeah. He's always had that. Yeah. yeah. I always had that. Had oh, do, oh yeah. So now I'm like, yeah, that was his twin that didn't. Yeah. Never. Yeah. Yeah. No, that was Morgan. Oh. Morgan got hit the other day too. Remember when he went up? He calls me up. One of the the deer heads off the wall fell and hit him. Busted. Oh shit. Yeah. And we, the joke was, it's like the, well, it wasn't dead. It was alive. He just had it on the wall. Yeah. <laughs> Finally got out. <laughs> My brother's so freaking mean, dude. <laughs> I mean, there's Chuck dude. Norris jokes, and yeah. then there's my brother, right? Yeah. When, when he comes online, yeah. I feel like there's. We were talking about that Chuck Norris merit badge. Yeah, yeah. I think my brother thinking he earned that. Man. <laughs> that's freaking dude, dude, some bitch. Out half of the bed, times dude. when your brother's call, your brother calls, you don't even say. You guys don't even say anything. Nah. It's just, hey, yep. They just grunt at each other for five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so just people ask if we have that skill. Yeah, we do. So imagine how we can talk with the, the movie quotes. Like you, all of us in this room can go for hours. We could sit somebody down here and they wouldn't have any idea what we were talking about. Yeah. We, you know we can do that. Yeah. So having your identical twin as your mirror, imagine how we've shorthanded all that. Yeah. So I don't have to say, I can say one word a certain way and it means something. For yeah. sure. <laughs> wow. Yeah. He skipped breakfast with us the other day. Yeah. I know. Can't forgive him for that. Dude, I give him more... So the fact that he's my older brother and that he's been harping on me my whole life and guiding, you know, mean to me and everything like that, that when he became a congressman, man, he works for me now. Yeah, I thought but, that was a great, <laughs> great way that shifted like that. Yeah. Here's one you haven't used yet. 
You're a Naval Academy grad. Oh, <laughs> I'm just, wait, I'm just getting started with that. But I pulled out out of moments when oh, I don't need to. He was yeah. an officer. He was an officer. You're, You're a, a Naval, Naval Academy. Academy graduate. <laughs> I'm a Naval Academy officer. Enlisted, double O. <laughs> I, I'm the only enlisted guy with the black Dixie cap. You know that yeah. dog bowl we wear? I get to wear the black one. Well, oh. uh, at this point, you, uh, you get to tell us your favorite type of pie. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> First one popped in there was the key line. Oh, oh. dude, that's it. It's a big one. There's yeah. trouble in Texas because big. I didn't hit the pecan, but that's like a seasonal nah, thing. You know key, what I mean? key lime is it? Man. It's, it's yeah. freaking key good. Lime, it's I refreshing, have key lime pie in the, in the freezer right now. Oh, yeah, man. Like I always keep a key lime pie. Oh, man. man. So good. I can yeah. like take ice, ice cream all the time. Yeah. And then the holidays roll around, you get the pecan and the mm-hmm. pumpkin. That's a good pie. Yeah, it was a good Thank selection. Yeah, that's a good choice. So, we'll, yeah. Yeah. so do, do I get we get you hand out pens or whatever no, no, they no, say? Why have you yeah, signed yeah. the pie board? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Right. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we, that's what we, we need a, a billboard here, a little marker board that's like it's their name and then their favorite pie. Yeah, yeah. 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 Do you have a bakery yeah. in town? We'll just yeah. do it. We'll just do it around that around that print. Find out what it is yeah. beforehand, and when they show up, have it from your local bakery. Oh yeah, yeah. We should. You know what I mean? Yeah, because there is a that brand new pie place in town. Pie place. There's a. It's worth the drive. Royers out in Round Top. Yeah. Freaking pies out of there. JB comes in there, man. Them suckers can make it. It's, hey, it's, it's got the world's smallest Catholic church in it. The population is 90. Oh, but okay. there's two times a year there's that round top fair in there. Like where every people come from all the walks of life, all yeah. across the world, they go in there. If, you, if you're nostalgic, like if you want to walk back in time and, and get a hold of some stuff that you had as a kid yeah. or even to the way, that's where you go. <laughs> they show up there and there's a place in there called Royer's. And I mean, if you haven't eaten there, or if you're blowing through Texas, man, you need to swing in there and get a hold of that place because it's top notch. I mean, we need to go try it. Heck yeah, yeah. When you walk in, it's got all the stuff on the ceiling, people coming in there, and it's it's old school Texas kind of nostalgia. It's awesome. Heck yeah. And their family's great. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> well, hey, thank you for coming. Yeah, man. It's been yeah, fun. Yeah, this is a, a Now real we got to go tour Caleb's. We didn't uh, talk yeah. about joining the circus. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we'd save that for now, yeah. too. Yeah. yeah. Uh, because we got to go shoot some Mark Wahlberg yeah, commercials yeah. and then show you Caleb's awesome form. Yeah. Yeah. All right. We'll see you next time.